Getting compliments is one of the best feelings that you can possibly have when wearing a fragrance that you love. With so many fragrances out there on the market to choose from or fragrances from your own collection, it can be a straight gamble to get those compliments. Listen, I know what it's like. I know how hard it can be to choose a fragrance or to find a fragrance that you absolutely love and you spray it with confidence, you go out and nobody else likes it. I know what that's like. Sometimes I struggle finding a fragrance in my collection that will actually get compliments from people when I wear it. Now I've talked about this fragrance fragrance today before, but I think it's time that it gets its full review video. Sweet by Ellis Brooklyn. Now this fragrance leans really feminine. This is definitely on the feminine side, but honestly, you know what? To me, this is unisex. When I wear this, I become a king. This is one of my secret weapons and out of my whole collection, this has to be in my top three most complimented. Let's check out this bottle. I mean, it's definitely a cool bottle. It's very sleek, very minimalistic. I love the energetic color. It's frosted glass and it has a magnetic top, which is actually pretty cool. I think this fragrance definitely will look great displayed on any shelves or any vanity. All right, let's give this a here, let's see what we got here. Atomizer's not bad, pretty standard. Oh yeah, there we go, ooh. What do we have here? So this is a Fruity Floral Gourmand fragrance and the name Sweet is very appropriate because I believe that this delivers everything that it promises. The notes of sweet are pear and bread, bergamot, orris, violet, heliotrope, marshmallow, white amber, and cashmere. It has a delicious fruity candy-like aroma that lifts your spirits, lifts your mood. It's very bright and it makes me very happy. It's one of those fragrances that definitely boosts and adds energy to to your day. That's the vibe I'm getting from this. Let's do another. Let's get it in the room. Right up top on the first blast, you get slapped in the face with fresh cut, juicy, ripe pear. It smells like a very nice cold pear, not like a pear that was sitting out in a fruit bowl, but a nice cold, crisp pear. It smells very airy and clean. It's a little bit sour. Now it's not a bad sour, but like a sour candy vibe going on. And the pear almost has this wet feeling, like you took the pear and dunked it in a bunch of water. It's a really good, juicy, fresh cut pear. Now as it starts to dry down, you get very soft, powdery, florals that come through. Then there's a really good sugary sweet coziness that almost smells like a giant fluffy marshmallow that just wraps you up like a blanket. It's really pleasant. This is a very pleasant fragrance. Oh, there's an iris note in here that smells absolutely phenomenal. It's not very strong or overpowering, but it's a very nice soft iris note that I feel like goes hand in hand with the juicy pear opening and the sweet candy-like vibe. So to me, this almost smells like sweet and sour candies, almost like Sour Patch Kids. Have you ever had Sour Patch Kids? That's kind of the vibe that you get when you smell this. So take Sour Patch Kids or another sour fruity candy and then add a very warm powdery coziness to this and and that's what you get with Ella's Brooklyn Sweet. Fruity sour candy, a very great pear note that goes into a very sugary, sweet, warm, florally, powdery coziness. It's one of my favorites. I was wearing this fragrance earlier today and honestly, my son comes up to me, he's nine years old, and he goes, Dad, you smell like candy. Then he goes, Mmm, Dad, you smell like Sour Patch Kids. And I said, yeah, you know what, buddy? I do smell like Sour Patch Kids, and that smells amazing. The longevity and the projection of this fragrance is really good, honestly. I mean, it lasts easily six to eight hours. You know, the projection, I would say, is not super strong, but it's definitely moderate. You're gonna smell somebody arm distance away, maybe a little bit further, and like I said, it lasts really good. But you know, if you want it stronger, just up the sprays. Now let's talk the versatility of this. Now, Sweet definitely opens bright, fresh, and juicy but it also softens down with a very sweet, powdery coziness. This is the type of fragrance that effortlessly transitions from daytime wear to nighttime wear and anywhere in between. This can easily be worn year round. I mean, it might thrive a little bit better in the warmer months, but I mean, you could wear this year round easily. I would say this is office safe. You can wear this on date nights. You could wear this to the gym. If you're a teacher, you know what? You could wear this around kids so they'll think you smell like a fruit snack because that's kind of what this smells like. And who doesn't want to smell like a fruit snack? And while yes, I do love this fragrance and men can definitely wear this fragrance, I think this is the perfect fragrance for a woman to wear on a first date. It's so fun and flirty. I think it'll give off a lasting impression. I really do. I personally would remember this fragrance. I would remember when I smell it again. It's the kind of fragrance that once you smell, you just want to smell it over and over and over. Give me that fragrance. This is for children. We can't talk about Ella's Brooklyn without mentioning their commitment to clean beauty because honestly, that's a pretty big 
part of their brand, that's their spiel. All of their fragrances are apparently handcrafted with high quality ingredients. They claim that they're all paraben free, phthalate free, and the cool guys at PETA verified this to be vegan and animal cruelty free. I know that might not matter to you, but if it does, well, there's an added bonus. So the first time I smelled this fragrance, me and my wife were walking through Sephora, like we always do, smelling all the new releases, smelling one after another, not liking most of them because most of them are designer, but that's a whole different topic. And then we come up to this one. We come up to Ella's Brooklyn Suite. Now at the time, I wasn't familiar with Ella's Brooklyn, and this is actually the first fragrance that I smelled by the house. And I must say, this was a love at first sniff for me. I bought it right there on the spot. This is the 50 ml, and this comes in for roughly $105. I bought it for my wife. She loved it. She thinks it's absolutely amazing. But guess what? I love this fragrance so much. I had to smell her wearing this week after week after week, and I loved it so much, so I started wearing it. And then she said, hey, stop wearing my fragrance. You're gonna smell like me. So she hit her bottle. So what did I do? I bought my own bottle. I've been wearing Sweet off and on for the past six months, and honestly, every time I wear it, I get compliment after compliment after compliment from all different types of people, too. I got one compliment at the post office. I had another cool shredded dude compliment me at Home Depot. It was kind of weird, but whatever. I got a compliment going into a gym, canceling my gym membership. I got a compliment from my son's teacher. All my coworkers at work absolutely go crazy over this one. They don't even know what it is. It's just the strangest thing when I wear this. I have old women blush at me. I have little kids smile at me, and I have grown men coming up to hug me. I don't know. It's a good one. I think it's really crazy that something as simple as a fragrance can uplift your mood so heavily and boost your confidence throughout the day. And Ella's Brooklyn Sweet, honestly, is the one that does that for me. And you know what? I used to not talk about this fragrance too much because I didn't want people to buy it because it's really underrated and it's very unique and I don't want everyone to start smelling like it and have it just turn into another mass fragrance that everybody knows like Bleu de Chanel or Sauvage by Dior or the abundance of all the other fruity floral gourmand fragrances that are in the women's section. But I will say that in the women's section, this is a hidden unisex gem and I think everybody should get their nose on this. Now, it might not be for you if you're an ultra male masculine man and you're the smoky woods and tobacco fragrances. I get it, you're not gonna like that. I like those fragrances too, but I also like this style of fragrance. But if you're a little bit open and you're into fruity, sweet, sour candy-like fragrances, you probably will absolutely love this. It's not too sweet, it's not cloying, it's the perfect balance of fresh, crisp fruit with a nice, sweet coziness, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I like it so much, I'm gonna get about five more sprays in. Ah. <sighs> Uh, who would wear something like this? Now, if I have to think of a person that absolutely captivates this vibe of what this fragrance has to offer, it has to be the actor, Melissa McCarthy. You know, with her bright laughter and her warm personality, I mean, come on, she's a comedic genius, and you honestly can't argue that. I think Melissa McCarthy and Sweet go hand in hand, and honestly, everywhere they go, they're gonna bring laughter and smiles, and that's what this does. I can't speak more highly of this fragrance, honestly. I mean, it punches above designer quality, it definitely smells a little bit niche, but it's definitely mass appealing. And I, I can't see somebody who which wouldn't like the smell of this. It just smells great. This is very underrated. Honestly, for the name of this suite, this accomplishes everything that it's sent out to do. And for that, I give it a 10 out of 10. And you know what? I'm probably going to go buy the 100 ml bottle just to have a backup of it. I really like it that much. I wonder if it tastes as good as it smells.